what's up guys, it's the Mitch Wise here with a cheap and cheerful game on Fire and Range regular TDM. Now, I'm not really sure how a gameplay can be cheap and cheerful. I mean, it can definitely be cheerful, but I'm not so sure how it can be cheap. Actually, I can. I mean, I could be using Ghost and Silencer, which I am. Um, but, you know, the reason why I'm using Ghost and Silencer in this game is because I'm using an FAL. Now, FAL is a great gun. I love the gun, I couldn't praise it enough. After my commentary on, I think, Nuketown a while back, I haven't stopped using it. Every time I'm prestiged, I unlock this gun and I start using it straight away. Now, the reason why I use Silenced uh, and Ghost on it is because with an FAL, it is a really good gun as long as you're picking the fights rather than the fights picking you. Because if you end up in situations where you run around a corner and you see some guy with an SMG like right next to you and you both have to panic at each other you're not gonna you're not gonna kill him <laughs> he's, he's gonna absolutely trounce you and so you kind of it's kind of a mix between ghost and silencer and the way you have to play now I definitely don't like camping, I hate camping, I don't camp, I don't camp in this game, I don't camp in any game, I think it's stupid. Now, however, you still have to play in a tactical way with a FAO. You have to pick long lines of sights to battle people in. You have to um, try and find the enemy before they find you, which I, I do a good job in this game of doing. There's not many people that I have to fight face on, as it were. Um, also picking up a secondary weapon, I think I pick up an Enfield or something, is always handy when you are when you decide to rush into people's bases or whatever. That is, that is always a good idea. I'll try and do it here, but end up just failing and picking up an RPG, which almost gets me killed. But yeah, I, get, I, I use the Scorpion Suppressed here, but it's not a very good guy and it gets me that kill, um, so I change straight away to the Enfield. But yeah, that's kind of how you've got to play it with a FAO. You've got to play kind of so that you're picking your fights rather than them picking you. Now, I don't really know what I can do. I think he needs to head on back to the, the, the first level on Call of Duty 4 campaign and play the little fucking little mini game on that. Because I don't rightly know what the hell he was doing then. Um, I think he was playing Let's Shoot the Firing Range people, which, you know, I'm cool with because he got me the, 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 the chopper gunner or whatever, so, so, you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, but I don't really see why he's doing that on multiplayer. But, you know, each their own. Now, my chopper gunner does alright. I get a 34 and 0 at the end of this game, by the way, guys. So I go flawless with these tactics. So, you know, maybe you, sh you guys should try the FAL or whatever and give it a bash. Because uh, it's quite a good gun. And 34 and 0 wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't anything to be snuffed at. It's quite a good game. Um, I'd just like to speak quickly about Gears of War 3 before I go off. Gears of War 3, a new trailer's come out, as well as the Modern Warfare 3 trailer, which I approve of, by the way. I know a lot of people are saying it looks like Modern Warfare 2, but, you know, that's not a bad thing. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 was a good game until the shit happened on it, and it wouldn't make sense if Modern Warfare 2... Uh, Modern Warfare 3 didn't look like Modern Warfare 2, seeing as they're so close together. But Gears of War 3 is going to be amazing. Dust to Dust is out, a new trailer, and I'm salivating. 16 days left. Thank you very much, and good night.